Uh, always nice in the springtime to get back out on the Columbia. Of course, all the fish are starting to move. It's end of March. And as we do every season, we take you the best of show. And, you know, we show you the, all the different scenery, all the different fish. Of course, some of the bloopers that we have. So it's the best of Series 19 today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Look at that big dome. Hey. I think it's the technique. I think it's the fisherman. <laughs> some days are good and yeah. some days are better. <laughs> A lot better. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by Islander, builder of world-class fly float and mooching reels. The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design. And the Freshwater Fishery Society of British Columbia. Catch what you've been missing, go fish BC. We fished some great venues this past season, so let's show you some of the beautiful scenery and wildlife we encountered on our trips.
These are just some of the flies I like to use on the Columbia in the springtime, and we did tie you some beautiful patterns this year on the bench, so let's go check them out. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the Roche Lake Special. This is a leech pattern that has been very effective at Roche Lake every year we fished it, in the spring and the fall. Today on the bench, I'm going to tie you the Light Cahill Stimulator. You know, up at Tunala 2, those brook trout pretty well take anything. Big mouse patterns on top, big Atlantic salmon bomber patterns, and of course, the stimulator pattern I'm going to tie you today. If I had one fly I was going to use for steelhead, it would be the fly I'm going to tie you today on the bench, and that's called the Bruiser. Today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up the green UV Sparkle Nymph. Now, this is a great overall nymph that works well all season long. When you're going after the big tarpon, you need a big fly. And a lot of times on the flats, they want this bigger pattern. And the one I'm going to tie you today is called the Black and Red Puglisi. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the Summit Lake Cronmint. This Cronmint pattern works very good for us in Summit, as you can see. But it also works really good when you're fishing without an indicator, or as we call it, fishing naked. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the purple flash. It's one of the better steelhead patterns we've used because of the colors it incorporates. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the green hornet. It's a balanced leech pattern. And these balanced leeches have been around for probably a couple years. Very effective leech pattern. And there's two main colors you want to have. One is blood red and the other is green. And this is the green version. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up Dawn's UV2 caddis pupa. It's one of my favorite patterns to use in our local streams and rivers, and what sets this fly apart is the UV2 material I use for the body. Today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up a great deep water tractor pattern, and it's called the Sunburst Blob. Believe it or not, sometimes it's tough to be on camera and try to get out what you're trying to... Oh, no. When you're on camera, sometimes it's tough to try to express what you're trying to say, and we have a lot of moments where we don't quite say it right, so let's go have a look at some of those bloopers. So to start the fly, oh, nah, here we go again. Okay. Now take a strand of your olive spark, sparkle. sparkle. Okay. Now take a strand of your olive spark. Why can't I say sparkle? <laughs> so there it is, the finished green UV sparkle nymph. Very effective pattern, and really, what am I talking about? It's green UV sparkle nymph. So there it is, the finished green. Okay, here we go again. So there it is, the finished green UV sparkle nymph. As I mentioned on the intro, it's a great overall pattern to use in rivers, and I even, you, and I even use it in lakes. Holy so cow, close. I know, so close. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> okay, ready? But we also use it as an attractor anywhere else for rainbow trout, cutthroat, or anywhere else you're trying to blah, blah, blah. So there it is, the finished light Cahill stimulator. Oh, for these tuna, like, ah. <laughs> and it's just a real good overall universal, why do I say overall? It's just a real good universal attractor pattern. He's got no luck. <laughs> Couple, I'm sure I had a bite because I pulled it back and I'm thinking, that's not a snag. <laughs> There's a good outtake. Plus, you can't, you, you, can't, can't, <laughs> you can't snag when you don't have a hook. Okay, running. To start the fly off, the pole... Before I put my foot on, okay, here we go. Today on the bench, I want to tie you... Tie you, tie you up. Okay, here we go. But this is why it works so well in the deep water. I don't know, what do I want to say? You know, this pattern is some resembles. This pattern imitates nothing in nature. Cut the hook right about there. The front hook. What? I you just hit hit the camera. Yeah, I know. So there it is, the finished purple flash. There's two things I've learned. Two things I've learned? Really? No. There's a few things I've learned. No. When fishing for steelhead, there's try for some steelhead. But today, 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 <laughs> there's lots of different ways to fish the Skeena River for the coho and the steelhead. And today we want to show you a little bit about a little bit little, little about. <laughs> Once the tail's tied in, I've taken a strand of my ollage. My ollage. Running. What do they call this fly? Oh, the green hornet. Okay. <clears throat> so there it is, the finished green hornet. It's a very, 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 very good. <laughs> so there it is, the finished green hornet. It is a very good balanced leech pad. Balanced, a very good balanced leech pad. I don't want to say very good. It's a good, it's a solid. Yeah. So there you have it, the finished green hornet. It is a balanced leech pattern, as I said in the intro, and it's a very, very. Why do I say very, very all the time? I don't know. 
I don't know either. Got something stuck in my head that it's very something. As I said before, you can use blood red and you go. <sighs> Why can't I say it on me? Here we go again. Okay, here we go. This is, this is it. it. <laughs> so there it is, the finished green hornet. It's one of the main patterns you're going to use in green. Why am I saying the pattern? <laughs> I've lost it. Right. Huh? So there it is, the finished green hornet. It's probably not, I can't get probably out of my head now either. There it is, the finished green hornet. So there it is, the finished green hornet. It is a balanced leech pattern, so it's very effective fished over weeds. <laughs> and always remember, where these flies really shine is when you fish them over weeds because they hang just above the weeds. Why did I change it? Okay, running. So there it is, the finished green hornet. And remember, when you're fishing a balanced leech, they're the best used when fished over weeds. Best used? No. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. And there it is, the finished green hornet. And remember, it's a balanced leech pattern, and where they're most effective is over weed beds. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. <laughs> That's a take. <laughs> you know, every season we're lucky enough to catch some quality fish, and really it's not about the size, but how beautiful the fish are. So let's show you some of those beauties. Oh, you got a good one, Dale? Oh, yeah. I worked that guy out the head. Oh, I'm gonna need right the head. Big guy. I'm gonna go out. Oh. Oh, he's got nice colors. Pretty colors. Looks like a nice male. There he goes, yeah. Oh, you put on the Still. stimulator. Big stimulator. Oh, there's a, you know, that's a beautiful brookie. Look at the colors. Yeah, they look just like an arctic char, you know, yeah. the ones we get up there, like with all look the beautiful the teeth. spots. Look at the, the nice... teeth on them. Now you see why our uh, our fly lines were being bust off. Yeah, that's gorgeous fish. Let's let them go. Ah, there he goes. There's another. Ooh. Well, they're definitely on the caddis right now. That's too yeah, and that's that's back smoking. out there and bang. And look, I just want to give you an idea of the day. You know, it's expected to get up to highs of. 32, 33 Celsius, so that's, you know, high 80s, low 90s Fahrenheit. We're on a river, the water right now in the Columbia is running about 54 to 55 degrees, depending on where you're at. That's prime. If you're gonna go out and fish for mayflies and caddis, you know, anything above 48, the bugs start moving. You know, normally anything, stones always start early, a few other things with the colder water. You hit that critical time, 52, that just triggers the mayflies and caddis. They come off from these big rivers, and it stays really good until that 62, 63 temperature. After that, fish tend to go down a little deeper. You know, that's when you get in the doldrums of August when the water temperatures climb above the 65, 66. But boy, anytime they're in that 54 to 58, even 60, you're in prime, prime caddis and, and mayfly conditions. So, oh gee, and this is a, this is what I expect to catch, Dale. This is a better fish. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at the flies out. Flies out. Look Flies at that, out. There he is there. Look at the colors. They're just gorgeous fish. You know, they're, they're beautiful, clear, real pretty fish. Let's get them back in. Oh, gee, he wants to go. Oh, look at You got him in the I net. got him in the net just to hold him look for a second. Look at the debris. We got logs floating down the river. There, there he goes. Go. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Nice fish. Oh. That's a gorgeous steelhead. Holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> he looked like to me like he was like 12 to 14, 12 14 pounds. 14, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a tough one to steer in. I'll have to jab at him. Oh, he's. Oh, I knew it. <sighs> he's, he's thick. A, he's a big boy. He's thick. He's thick. All right, my feet. Oh, I got to get out. Top part. There he is. Oh, that's a beauty. He's, he's thick. Yeah, like he's not that light. He's just thick. That was out for a steelhead. That's what you come to the Skeena for, right there, folks. That is gorgeous. Look at it again. How fat they are. Just chrome. Perfect condition. Oh, it is. Look at it. Just, just a chrome bullet. But the air time. What's most <laughs> impressive? I mean, it was. There were some really good jumps. Good. 
And again, a big guy like that, he fought down well. I want to make sure he's he's good to go. There he goes. Oh, ho, ho, baby. <laughs> That's what you come up here for. Wow. That's unreal. So how's that for quality fish? So you know what? Let's show you a few more. Oh, I see him. Ready, lad. Are you okay? Let it go. Oh. Oh. That's a 12-weight rod. Wow, to see a big fish like that out of the water, eh? That's a good sized fish. Beautiful. That's a good size one. Oh. Oh. Fly. Good. Hey. Can you lift him up? Hey, hey, how about that? <laughs> there we are, revive him. Oh, he didn't take long. Excellent, my friend. Good job. <laughs> hey? You know, we went to our traditional spot to start. That's always Monster Bay. We saw some fish moving up in Carl Flats, and Carl Flats is always one of our favorite places to get tanks, and this is a tank. <laughs> I'm going to reel in here. This is a beautiful fish. Did you see fish. that? Oh, it's a beautiful <laughs> fish. And I started with the indicator. I had my indicator on. Brian, you went with your deep water, deep water tractor pattern? Deep water tractor. Right on. Well, you know, that's, but that's the thing. Mid-October, it's the October 15th right now, and a lot of times you have to come in here, full deep seven lines, so you're laying on the bottom, and we've got a, a variety of what yeah. we call deep water tractor yeah. patterns. Just bright, flashy things. But even if you went in here with a a big dragonfly nymph, a deer right. here. Yeah, uh, dragonfly nymphs work well. Anything, yeah. you know, anything on the bottom. You gotta, these away. guys are bellies are rubbing on the marl. So and we're in five feet of water. We're right only now. in five so feet of water. Example, five feet of water, right in the weeds. There's not much weed growth here. It's mainly marl, but still, you got to be right on the bottom. This is a tank. When you lifted up, you thought you were snagged, I didn't you? I had bottom. I had bottom kind of, uh, uh, and then I said, whoa. Well, you're the one that said you're going to fish. fish. <laughs> fish on. A little bit of sun. We're out for the morning until the early afternoon. And Brian's got a tank on. you got to wash the, yeah, you got to wash the, going around the, wash the, around the, uh, the anchor rope there. Oh, this is. This is yeah, this is a nice fish. It's a nice fish. There's, it's a strong fish. <laughs> I guess. He's done the whole loop around the boat a couple of times on you. He's done a good job of controlling him from the anchor, for sure. Oh, look at him all there. He's good. Oh. Yeah, I know. That's a good fish. Yes. See him flashing. Just flashing. Oh, God. And I got him. Oh! <laughs> he got him. <laughs> That's a beauty. <laughs> you know what I do? I'm just going to lift them up real briefly and just put them right beside that, that depth chart there. Yeah, that's minimum 26, oh, 26 that's inch fish. That's a toad. It's a deep Oh, deep he's fish. deep too. He's probably, uh, geez, looking at him, he's got to be pushing 7, 8. Yeah, he's, right? he's solid 7 solid for sure. Solid 7 for sure, yeah. Oh, man, that's a big fish. No, it is, yeah. Just try to unbutton him there. Right there. <laughs> the jaw there is out. Oh, 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 Look at that. That is a tank. Yeah. I mean, look at beautiful look at beautiful white. Just, yeah, just look how deep. Look how deep yeah. thick it is. Like that thick across the back. Yeah. Just gorgeous yeah. fish. Yeah, so this is a triploid panask. Okay. And uh, it's probably five years, maybe probably six years old. Six years old. Next spring. And uh, 
put up a great fight. And that's Tripoid. That's again the Freshwater yeah. Fishery Society of DC. They put in all these fish. Buy your license because that's what that's funds what, that's these what pays, fish. That's what pays for the hatchery exactly. program and fish like that. Yeah. That's a. Well, we'll let her revive a, and then we'll let yeah. her go. That sounds that's good. Nice. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> But I mean, thanks for that tip today. Thanks for showing us the balanced leech. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those new things out that I think everybody's gonna really appreciate. Absolutely. Oh, geez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <look at> <laughs> <laughs> As we're doing the extra, that's a big fish. We gotta show you this one. You know what? We'll continue the extra in a minute. All I see is this huge fish jumping this side of the boat because I had my fly still out. That rod? It might not be safe. That one. I had the rod pinned over here. So I knew it wasn't going anywhere. Oh, look at He's got me down in the. He's tried to get me down in the weeds. I gotta get him out of the weeds. Yeah, I got him out. You get him out? Yeah. Oh, it's another dandy bry. Look at this. Oh. oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Look at that. There he is there. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just a beautiful fish. Fantastic. I'm gonna put him back in here. I don't want to get wet again, so I'm gonna let him go. We're so well, it was a lot of fun this year, and stay tuned because it is Series 20 next year for Sport Fishing on the Fly. And when you're on the wild, take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. And I'm going to catch one more fishy before we go. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.